show tonight. The lovely Jessica Biel is on her way out. She's in the new comedy, and I'll pronounce you Chuck and Larry. Very funny. Uh, man I've known for years. Comedian Bill Engvall has a new sitcom coming out. The Bill Engvall Show. Oh, cool. Worked for hours trying to come up with the title. That's what it's called. <laughs> I mean, it's from T-Pain featuring Young Jock. T-Pain featuring Young Jock. <laughs> Come on, I just in from London. My new neighbor is just a couple of doors down from me. Victoria Beckham. Uh, her and David have moved into the neighborhood camp. Cool, so man. A little welcome wagon. I'm going to have them here on the show tomorrow. Cool. All right, you know my first uh, guest from her years on Seventh Heaven. She's now starring in a new movie with Adam Sandler called I Now Pronounce You Chuck and Larry. Very funny comedy. It opens on the 20th. Next Friday, please welcome the lovely Jessica Biel. <laughs> Good to see your Thank mom you. again. I talked I to your know, mom. Your that's mom so looks sweet. great. See, if you want to know what a woman's going to look like in 20 years, look at her mom. Your mom still looks beautiful. My mom is gorgeous. Oh, yeah, it's very pretty, very pretty. <laughs> now, did you watch our beach games by any chance? I did, okay. I did. Now, see, that seems like your type of thing. Because I was told you, you never turned down a dare. Is that correct? I, I can't remember that I ever have, oh, no. Okay, really? So, anything, like, could you stand on your head? Can you do that? Oh, geez, Jay. I mean, I. <laughs> I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm wearing my granny panties. I can't show them. <laughs> They're not cute at all. Really? Granny panties? I, I would not have gone there, but okay. <laughs> so, so what's the most exciting dare you've accepted, or the hardest, or the scariest, or whatever you want to call it? Um, well, I, I went skydiving, actually, okay. and that was absolutely terrifying. On a dare? You'd never done it up to Never that. done it, but okay. it was terrifying and exhilarating, and you know what? I, I really think I actually sort of blacked out in, in th throughout the fall, you know, when you fall? Right. And then, you know, the guy that I'm, I'm, I'm doing it tandem, so I'm okay. strapped to this guy, and he's po poking me to pull the, the cord. Right. And so I woke up at that moment, and so I realized I have to go again so I can really experience what wow. it's like to free fall. So I've been twice. Wow. Now, how, Terrifying, but so worth it. Well, how did you do the second time? Did you stay awake? Or Fully you... awake. Okay, all right. Okay. Cheeks flapping. Right. Ugly, not attractive. Right. So much fun. Really? <laughs> All right. So what other fears do you need to face? What other fears have you, do you have a hard time um, with? Well, I, I actually just sang in this um, little piano bar in Paris. I, I, it freaks me out to sing Singing in public. public. Even though I, I was sort of a musical theater kid and did all this stuff. But really? it just makes me so nervous. So I did that in Paris. I conquered that fear, which is really nice. Okay. So you were over that. So if you had to sing, you could do it, is what you're saying. No, I did that one. <laughs> No, but, you, but, no, but you had to, really no, first all. of all, you did it in Paris, where nobody's paying attention because you're American. <laughs> That's so, true. So they, they weren't listening. So you have to do it in front of a crowd, don't you think? I mean, a bigger venue. No! <laughs> no, I'm so nervous. My heart is pounding out of no, my chest. Please don't make me do well, this. Well, you should try that. Because I remember something. Uh, I met you when you were, what, like 15 or something like that? Something like something that, like yeah. Something like that. And, and you told me there was something you wanted at the time. You, oh, I know it was. something you, you wanted as a kid but you were never able to get, or your parents couldn't afford, or something. And I have that. You, I have it you here. You have it. And if you sing, I will give it to you. If not, well, then it'll well, just... Well, what is it? Well, I'm not gonna tell, I can't tell you so what I it is. So I have to sing first. It, it's something, it's something oh, that you, yeah, you yeah, told yeah, me you wanted yeah. when you were a kid, because you were kind of a, a tomboy, right? Yes, And definitely. this is not like, a, it's like a girl version of a tomboy thing. Okay. okay. So it must be good. Well, it, it's something you, you specifically told me when you were a little girl, like you were eight or nine, oh, you wanted this so much and you couldn't get it. I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is. Well, whisper in my ear first. Is it a power wheel? Well, I don't know if that's necessarily true, but let's see. Oh, um, what, what song do you want to sing? Hi. Uh, um, and I will bring I don't it out here. If not, it'll go back Kevin. in the Something cheesy, something 80s. All right. Oh, how, oh something from his album? Um. Oh. <laughs> um you know, you know, almost Paradise. You want to do so that? It's so bad. It's so you cheesy. You want to try that? Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, now here's a mic. Here's a mic right here. And, and this gift. Uh. If you sing it. Even halfway good. This thing you've wanted since you were eight years old is right backstage and will be brought, will be brought out to you. Okay, it better be up. worth it. Stand up, stand up. It's oh what you wanted. It's the color you wanted. Stand up? Yeah, yes, you're a singer. Let, let, let me introduce you. Um, okay. Let me, I'll introduce you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the Kit Kat Club is proud to present <laughs> the song stylings of Miss Jessica Biel. Um, give me a note, give me a note. What's my note? Almost paradise. We're knocking on heaven's door. Almost paradise. How could we ask for more? I swear that I can see forever in your eyes. Paradise. Dead, 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 dead. This is what you said when you wanted when you were eight years what old. Can we bring it out? Let's bring Where it out. Where's my treat? Here it is right here. <laughs> Hop in, hop in, there's your gas pedal. You can drive across the floor. I did really want this. I never got one. I was denied as a child. Hit the gas, hit the gas, baby, go. Yeah, all right. We'll be right back right after this. More with Jessica Biel right after this. Cover of GQ, and you're on the, the now Esquire. You got you got the sexiest woman alive. Now see, <laughs> now this makes me laugh. You know, but see, I also know you as like a goofball. Now what do your friends think <laughs> when they see like like people you went to high school with? Do they think that's funny? That I think they think it's totally ridiculous. I remember when my brother, I told yeah. him about it, and he got ew, <laughs> ew. I said, I know. I feel so weird about it. Well, it's, it's funny though. <laughs> it's, it was. It, it is funny. It's flattering. Yeah. But it is a little bit. Funny. Well, now you're like a paparazzi favorite. Do you mind that? Because it's got to drive you crazy. You know, it, sometimes it's just, it can be really weird because it's so surprising that anybody cares what you're doing at the farmer's market buying groceries. I was there. Right. I was there one, one Sunday afternoon with a friend of mine, and this woman was with her video camera, which is so weird, your video camera. It's strange. And I just went over to her and I said, you know, I'm just buying beets. Uh, it's so boring. Can you just let me go on with my day? And she said, well, uh, you could have just worn a cuter outfit. I thought, it's Sunday morning. What do you expect from me? <laughs> There's so much pressure. I just, I feel like I can't handle it. Now, did you ever, you ever make a deal with a paparazzi? You say, I oh, like, look, I'll give you this if you leave me alone. Is yes. I mean? And oh. you know what? Most of the time it doesn't work. But okay. I actually just went to um, this wedding of my good friends. Right. And it was on a public beach. So, you know, anybody and everybody can, can sure. be a part of this. And yeah. they followed me from my house all the way to Santa Barbara. Really? This is they just, all the way to they, Santa Barbara? They followed me the whole way there. It's crazy. Wow. And I got out and I said, you know what? I walked over to them. I said, this is my friend's, you know, it's his wedding. It's his day. Please be respectful of this. We have this whole negotiation. You'll do this and I'll stand here and I'll give you this and I'll smile and I'll do this if you do this and you leave. And he said, yes. And it oh. actually worked. We had this whole deal. I felt like I should have signed a contract. It was, wow. it was, it was amazing because it actually worked. Oh, now everybody's going to want that deal. <laughs> I <Yeah>. know. Wow. <laughs> now, now, I understand you got back from where? Was it Belize you went to? Yes, okay. I went well, to Belize. That's a pretty place, isn't it? Oh, it's so gorgeous. Yeah. I went with a, a close girlfriend of mine. Yeah. And, oh, we, it was so nice. We just relaxed and we just hung out. And, you know, what's so funny about vacation is, I mean, you meet the funniest, craziest people. <laughs> um, I met this one, this one guy as right. we were sitting at this restaurant, at the bar of this restaurant, and he started chatting with me. He was about 18 years old right. and was with there, there with his father, mm -hmm. just graduated high school, talking about track and field and talking about what a religious Christian he was. And I was just so curious and interested in asking right. him all these questions. And he was so sweet. And out of the blue, he goes, do you believe in fornication before marriage? <laughs> I was like... What does that even mean? Fornication? Who uses that? Can I say that word even, yes, by the way? Yes, you can say that word. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's such a bizarre word. And so from there on out, we called him the weird fornicator. <laughs> it was such a weird, it just totally took me by surprise. I was blushing, completely embarrassed, this young 18-year-old kid. I was like, um, I, um, ah. Uh, I didn't know what to say to him. I'll see if he asks you the same question when he's 22. I know. Just to see <laughs> 
Now, now tell us about uh, uh, Chuck and Larry. You're very funny in this movie. Thank it's you. a movie about, uh, obviously, Kevin James and, and Adam Sandler have, pretend to get married, or they do get married, I guess, to, to save money on the insurance because they're a domestic partner. I mean, it's, it's actually based on a real story, sort of. I guess it's true. And, and you're their attorney, right? But you yes. think Adam... I think Adam is gay. Right, Absolutely. Okay. I'm defending them against the state. I truly right. believe that they love each other and they want to be together, so I want to make that happen. Right, right. Um, and in, I think in this clip that you're going to see, it's we've, we've become friends and right. we've basically become girlfriends. We're right. having a girl's day, you know, where you're... Right, right. You're shopping, you're hanging out, and it's really fun, and so I'm really comfortable with him, and he, you know, we're coming and running in from the rain, and he's questioning me about my body, and it's just this, okay, well, this here, funny little let, scene. Let's take a look. Alex, you don't gotta lie to me with two girls hanging out? Come on. Are you kidding me? There's no silicone here, I swear. No, no big deal if they are or not, I don't care. I've got nothing to hide, feel them. Feel them? Feel them. I, I mean, I, 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 I have a, uh, I'd rather feel a, a flabby man pack, to be honest with you, but in the name of science, if you need me to hold your bodacious Bahama Mamas or whatever the guy's call nowadays, I'll do it. Yes, go ahead. Oh, like you. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a little nauseous there touching him. Chuck and Larry opens on the 20th. Jessica, always a pleasure. Thank you very much. And enjoy your new car.